Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Beauty of Joseon Dynasty Cream. This product retails for $24. There's no reason why I chose to try out this product now. It's just the best seller from Beauty of Joseon. I tried out their gel moisturizer and I want to do a comparison with this one to see how it performs for my skin. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. I have amazing ingredients in here, but it seems to be more on the richer side from what I've seen people talking about. Out. You can check out all those ingredients in the description. The main things I'll be looking for with it include does it clog my pores or cause acne. I also want to see what finish it leaves on the skin and I'm going to be doing a slight comparison to their gel moisturizer just to see which one I feel like would work best for my skin type which is combination. As for anything else I'll be continuing to do check-ins so I will see you all in the next check-in. I'm here to give you all a quick check-in and also my first impression with the Dynasty Cream. Very excited to try out this product because I've seen so many people raving about it. It's also the perfect time for me because the weather is getting a little bit more cold outside and this is supposed to be the richer moisturizer. So let's go ahead and take a first dip in. Don't know where I need to put it. I'll try right here. Oh wow. Okay. The finish is much more light than I was expecting. It does feel just a little bit greasy, like off of first initial application. Not sure how it will feel on the face. Pretty light. I was expecting it to be a more heavy cream, but it almost has a water cream white consistency. The finish is definitely very dewy though. So we'll be curious to see how this feels on the skin. This is a lot more light than I was expecting, which I'm not mad at, because honestly, I like more light formulas when it comes to moisturizers. The more rich balms sometimes are too much for my skin. I do have reactive skin, that's why my face turns red when first applying it, but this, wow. Okay, so it doesn't feel greasy on the face, that's for sure. Okay, feels pretty solid. It doesn't leave much of a finish. I'm interested to see how this will wear. Definitely could see where this wouldn't be more designed for oily later skin. I feel like now that it's getting a little colder. My skin's usually a little bit more dry. That is why I'm liking it a little bit more, but still that would just tell with time. It absorbed practically immediately. Definitely the water cream texture. I like that aspect of it. I'm going to continue using it, seeing if it, seeing if it causes acne. And I also want to see what else I notice with it and then I'll check it again. I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this moisturizer. Sadly though, I love the texture and feel of this product. It was something that clogged my pores and caused acne within the first few days of using it. I had to discontinue use of this product. I'm really disappointed because I was excited for a richer moisturizer from Beauty of Joseon. Their gel cream luckily works for me and I feel like that is the moisturizer that was better suitable for my skin type. Even though that is more of a summer moisturizer for me, I'm not sure what ingredients set off my acne in this product. I saw that hydrogenated coconut oil was in this, which has been known to clog pores and cause acne, but ultimately every formulation is different and everyone's acne is different. Just because I experience breakouts doesn't mean that you will with this product, but ultimately I wouldn't recommend this if you have acne prone skin, just coming from my perspective and my personal recommendations. I love the feel of this moisturizer though. It was very lightweight, though it was a richer cream and I feel like it wasn't suffocating for the skin, but left a nice finish. I was really loving this moisturizer and it was perfect for this time because it's becoming a little bit more cold out and I like to go for a richer cream. Sadly, it's just not something I'm going to personally get from Beauty of Joseon because this product did cause acne. I recognize the signs of it causing breakouts on my cheeks and on my forehead, which usually happens within the first three to four days of using a moisturizer. So sadly, if you are acne prone, I cannot personally recommend this product, not that it will cause acne. If you are not acne prone, I can't testify for this moisturizer because I didn't get to do a full trial of it. I feel like it would be a great lighter weight, richer cream option. But if you are acne prone, this sadly is something I cannot personally recommend due to me experiencing breakouts with it. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.